too. You see that? You see that, Ellie? I know you see that. That is Inui right there. Tim, Inui just walked in the building. Are you concerned that he's gonna spy right now? No, I don't think he's a spy. He should be very afraid, man. Inui is little as hell. Look at him. Look how small he is. He's, he's 108 pounds. Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating Montin Channel. Nauya Inoue, walang laban ang lakas kung makaharap na nito ang Unified Champion Stephen Fulton. Plansado na nga po ang laban ni Nauya Inoue at ang Unified Champion sa Super Bantamweight Division na si Stephen Fulton kung saan maglalaban nga ang dalawa ngayong darating na Mayo Asiete. Kung saan dadayo nga itong si Stephen Fulton sa teritoryo nitong hapon sa ari na Yokohama, Japan. Natatandaan natin na binakanti na nga ni Naoya Inoue ang kanyang apat na major belt sa 118 pounds at umakyat na ito sa 122 pounds o super bantam na kung saan hindi pa nga nagkaharap ang dalawang fighter ay sinabi na nga na itong si Fulton na wabasakin nito si Naoya Inoue sa sariling bayan. Gayon din itong si Nonito Dunayre Jr. na pabor ito kay Fulton sa labang ito. Dahil iba daw ang klaseng buksingero itong si Fulton, mabilis at mautak pero wag lang daw bibigyan ni Polto ng momentum itong si Naoya Inoue na maiba to nito ang napakalakas na sunto. At ang gusto ni Stephen Fulton na ipapanalo ang laban sa decision ay dapat daw niya itong ipakita na dinumina niya itong si Naoya Inoue sa laban dahil pag close fight ay paniguradong talo ang dayo. Sa ngayon ay mayroong ring record itong si Stephen Fulton na 21 wins and 8 knockout. Wala pa po itong talo mga kabusing. Ang pinakamabigat nitong nakalaban ay itong si Brandon Figueroa kung saan nakuha naman ito ang panalo by majority decision. Labanan ito ng dalawang undefeated mga kabusing kung saan mayroon namang undefeated ring record itong si Naoya Inoue na 24 wins and 21 knockout. Isang 3 division world champion ang mabigat at may pangalan na nakalaban ni Naoya Inoue ay itong si Nonito Dunaire Jr. Pero nakalaban naman nito ang hindi prime na Dunaire sa palagay niyo mga kabusing. Kaya bang dalhin ni Inoue ang lakas sa mabigat na timbang at hindi rin basta-basta ang kalaban na haharapin? Hindi man isang knockout artist pero ang galawan nito ay galawang Gary Russell Jr. Mabilis at may magandang footwork na may timing rin ang pinapakawalang suntok at mas malaki ito kumpara kay Nauya Inoue. Kaya abang-abang na lang tayo mga kabusing sa kanilang laban. At marami ring Pinoy ang nag-aabang na mabugbog itong si Nauya Inoue. Pero alam nyo ba mga kabusing, noong hindi pa masyadong kilala itong si Naoya Inoue, ay napalaban nga ito ng unang bisis sa Amerika kung saan nakalaban nito ang noy kababayan ni Fulton na si Antonio Nieves na mayroon rin itong dugong Puerto Rican. Ito ang unang Amerikanong nakalaban ni Inoue at unang laban sa Amerika kung saan mayroon ngang ring record itong si Antonio Nieves na 17 wins at isa lamang ang talo. Kaya hindi rin basta-basta ang buksingerong ito. Sa panahong ito ay isang kampyon si Naoya Inoue sa WBO Super Flyweight title na kung saan siya ang dumayo sa baluarte nitong si Antonio Nieves. Ganun din sa laban ni Fulton kay Naoya Inoue na si Fulton naman ang dadayo sa baluarte ni Naoya Inoue. Nasa pagdayo nga ni Inoue sa Amerika ay hindi nga maganda ang pagtanggap nito sa kalabang si Nieves. Sinabihan nga itong si Naoya Inoue na sobrang liit daw nito na knockout lang daw ang aabutin sa laban na ang kanilang laban ay ginanap sa StubHub Center Carson, California The stock can slap The man can slap oh, on no, Friday We're gonna turn that shit over we ain't slap <laughs> Come on with the knuckles Well good luck if you win you're gonna shock the world because no one's giving you a shot I believe in you you can do it coach believes in you Tim believes in you well, I won't be shocked But everybody else will be Yes sir You can't blame them 10% all the time Good luck 13 fights But according to CompuBox, he lands more jabs, excuse me, he throws more jabs than any other top fighter in the world and lands the by Gennady Golovkin. And that, of course, underlines the fact that power is often set up by the jab. Absolutely. I think he hides the power behind the jab, like you just mentioned. So that's definitely an asset. Both has their eyes peeled right now on this fight. Because in no way, those who have seen him and followed him have been saying such glowing things. This being his American TV debut, people want to see what they have here. And already we've seen one thing that some fighters wait a long time to learn, 
He has a reputation that his father taught him well. He's fundamentally sound. And that power he has there mentally, like you said, Jim, saying all the right things. I just don't know if he can translate. He tries to set his stuff up, and Nevis faints and faints. And Right, tries to punch with in a way to get his shot in there first. And this is where in a way has had his way so far. So he's trying to end. Love the way he extends the jab. Maximum impact. Back with a upper, right uppercut. Use the double. And he goes into that gap like we've been seeing him go into it. Let's go ahead and go with the Virgil Hill once or twice. And then let's fill that gap with the right hand on top and the hook. Okay? Anyway. But the danger of punching with a puncher is obviously you can get caught with a clean shot. Good shot from the other. Right hand by, and at times, Inoue has been a little bit wide. But you can... Now Inoue sticking the jab. That's his game. Spaver asked for body shots. Haven't seen a body shot yet from Inoue in this round. Now he goes downstairs and comes back up There's and it. in a punch. He was never out of position. And that's the same thing you see with weight division. And the other guy's coming down from 122 pounds. You know, the, 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 the guy coming up is fighting a natural lead. Right hand by Inoue drives Nevis back just a little bit. Left hand to the body. Placement rather than power. Now combinations. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Oh, he thought it was the bell. Inoue heard the... the 10 second warning clap in front of the bell. That saved Nieves right there. Of a schedule 12, you can see that Harold Letterman, unofficially, not surprisingly, has now a NOA winning the first two rounds. Nieves was hurt in that last round, and he wants to test him to see how hurt he still is. As he pulls straight back from punches sometimes, he uses that classic technical defense. You think that'll be a problem against the next level? Uh, it remains to be seen. In a way, he's only 24 years old, so as we flex, he'll have to make those adjustments and modify his style. A lot of time between that. The power of Inoue, but as he mentioned, when he throws it. Oh, and it sets up power shots like that, which are discouraging to the end. Well, you can happen toward the end of the last round, and you can see, and he throws when he wants to. He's not necessarily a combination puncher. He's a pick -em type puncher. He'll throw a jab. He'll throw a leap. Absolutely. He's a pick -em type puncher until he gets his guy hurt, Perfect. and then he throws Perfect. in combination. I like that. Now, every time you hit this kid and you turn, you're getting some good stuff off. But you can't stop, man. You've got to keep it going. As though his fighter has a chance, as though he's not taking a beating. But I don't know what his options are as a trainer in that moment. Because, well, you're in the position that Nieves is in again. It's just really tough. It's a tough and unenviable position like you just mentioned to be in. To allow Nieves to throw some punches and let his clock wind down a little bit. He was trying to let the, the punishment from the previous round sink in a little bit. would have to try to open Nieves' defense. You could just, you know, catch him with in an exchange. Oh, what a top fighter in the sport. An average of 37 coming in. He's throwing 41 jabs per round here tonight. Work extremely well, or they implode right sure their imagination and really look devastating. Makes some water cooler buzz the next, you know, on Monday at work. And if he scores a knockout here pretty soon, maybe he can do that. But what, what I don't think a kind of sameness to every round than an extended fight. Trying to find somewhere to hide in the ring, and he can't, but just keeps walking him down, gets him into position there where he can face him and lands a body shot on the door. One or two more of those, he could end this fight, Jim. And here, Inoue has him ready to go to the body. Yup, there it is. With a fighter like okay. now with the body, most effective punch in boxing. I don't care who you are, who you're okay. fighting, where you've been brought up. Look. Body shots all night. And here we see another left that lands right by the solar plex. Nieves hesitates and then decides to take a knee. All over the arena here at the Stub Hub Center in Carson. I mean, I, I just think that's enough. I, I know he's not dazed in a way like he's a, but why does he need to keep taking this punishment canelo yeah. alvarez against shane mosley over and over and over the sledgehammer left to the body you can see nieves is keeping that right hand glued to his side right there that's why you got to switch it up if you want that shot you got to go away and then come back to it and with the chance to put on a show now in a way is doing so as he lifts his hands to let the american audience know yes i'm a star i know i'm a star you're going to see big things from me in the ring, come to me, come to me, I'm ready. Another left of the body to finish the round, and Nieves 
staggers back to his corner, where trainer Joseph Delguide has a decision to make. And he has made the decision. Lahat ng mga sinabi ni Antonio Nieves bago ang laban ay kinain lamang nito. Kumbaga parang lamok lang na sinampal ni Inoue itong si Antonio Nieves sa laban. Ito ang kasabihan na maliit man pero kasing tigas naman ang kamao ng pader. Kaya ayun, sumurinder itong American Puerto Rican boxer sa loob ng round 6. Pero ang galawan itong si Antonio Nieves ay napakalayo ito sa galawan ni Stephen Fulton. Dito makakaharap ni Nauya Inoue ang isang elite fighter na nasa kanyang prime. Abang-abang na lang tayo mga kabusing sa darating nilang laban. So yan lang mo ng ating video sa ngayon mga kabusing. Maraming salamat po.